right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jim's. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. Better get a move on before Dale sees you slacking. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. She would be wise to do the same. Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and, like in SY920's case, military outposts. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. As far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. I sure hope so. Because she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, don't take any chances. Nave is right. Just grab everything labeled Com Spike that isn't nailed down. Oh. And one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal. Because you're gonna need it. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so, I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like, get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here, and don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space, and her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. I'm gonna leave that up to you, bro. If you get into deep trouble, and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the... At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. Hit me up if you got questions. By the way, Sergeant Yumi is looking...
in making the settled system safer. I take it your neighbor's new recruit? Rest assured, if I ever need to remember it, I will. Test Y920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Do not mistake us for amateurs. We will get the job done without sacrificing your route. I appreciate the confidence. I just want to remind you, this job calls for more discretion than your usual swashbuckling adventures. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out, if I can. That being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So, it's up to you. by me. If this goes bad, the less I know, the better. And if I do get caught, there'll be nothing to confess to. Enough to be on the first name basis with the marines working the cops. It also helps they want us to dock. A cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. Famous last words. But you do this job right, and who knows what the future holds. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Elgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. We'll talk more on the ship. All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Of course, I don't expect it to be. The less talking all of us have to do, the better. You'll get no argument from me. It'll be hard enough explaining why I have two new crew members. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. Hello. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. SY920 
from here. Don't worry about your personal ship, the fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare, just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Pardon. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double time. Captain, I've been trying to find a For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Only military personnel are allowed out of the cargo area. That's why we need to get you to the barracks to find you a uniform. Provided you haven't sounded the alarm, then yeah, like I said, if you can find an intercom, I'll keep a channel open. This is a star station, so there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. As far as tactics go, it's an oldie, but goodie. Very funny. But if you do get into trouble, try and use that quick wit to your advantage. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Howdy. You're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. You with the Jade Swan? <clears throat> Hold up, this area is Rules are rules It's true It's almost more of a hassle talking to you It's classified too, I bet Sometimes I feel like I can't even tell someone my own name without declassifying it first I suppose if you're quick. All right, fine. You're good. Just be quick about it. That goes for your friend, too. We will be quick. On this station are some of the best in the galaxy. Hey. Authorized personnel only. Only designated SY-920 UC military allowed. You're not even in uniform. My 
back's fine. They really need someone to control them. State your business. Hey, you got an issue with security procedure? Take it up with commander. Anyways. Your friend there have the same clearance? Of course. Then you're both good to go. Back in our own ship. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comps. Music to my ears. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. That'll provide some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. This far down, you might need a clearance code. Checkpoints have not been a problem so far. There's little reason to think this one would be different. I like the confidence. But remember, they tend to get harder the further you go. Hence, the clearance code. Try the security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going down for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. Need your clearance code, Marine. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. Your clearance, Nakasaka. I assume the two of you are together? Yes, we are t together. Then you're both clear. Commander Natara, test flights for the latest prototypes are ready to go. Acknowledged, Lieutenant. Inform them they are clear to launch. Get back to your post, Ensign. Why aren't you at why aren't you at your post, Ensign?
recognize your faces. Did you not see the sign? The sign outside that says no visitors. Wait, did they not put that up? I requested it ages ago, but not surprising. Ever since Commander Natara took over, the priorities have changed. Oh yes. I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. The comm spike. But I can't just hand it to you. It's a module for a ship. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Well, yes, in the same way the Almagest is a book on constellations and a supernova is an explosion in space. 
The greatest scientific minds the UC has to offer did not congregate to this station to build just a module. The brightest engineers in the settled systems did not get transferred to this station to build just a module. I suppose a module does have certain tactical advantages. Exactly. It's convenient, covert, and, well, costly. But we have the funding. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Yes! It's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. But don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Classified, I... Commander Natara, you say? Oh, well, we don't want to make her angry. She's terrifying. Ah, yes. By the transitive property, you would be what I need. And we aren't desperate for personnel. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. Dr. Vogel will do just fine without you. Besides, we both know the only reason he 
you were on that project was to bloat the budget so we could embezzle the creds. And to that end, your share of the funds should be transferred to your gal bank account shortly. What am I supposed to even say to that? Those funds are the reason I don't have a job. You can start by saying, Thank you. Hell, I even warned you not to poke a bear. Commander so, Tara, what's this big project you're working on? Well, I, I can tell you, but then I'd have to keep Aaron the was right. My Couldn't you just trust I me? I should have never hit send. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you screwed up. Royally. But... Things have gotten real Dutch tight since Commander McCoy. I've heard the technology of the station would make the FC surrender. By keeping your mouth shut from now on. Yeah. Hey. You want my advice? Find some planet at the edge of the galaxy where you can relax for a bit. Lean back. <laughs> really dig your feet in the sand. Just get your mind off all this. Oh, and stop with the sad check puppy dog face, points. too. Everything looks clear. <laughs> Makes you look guilty. And what kind of face am I supposed to have? The face of some... Reporting for duty, pilot? Access granted. Be sure to head to the control center and schedule the flight. And good luck. might be coming back. Maybe that'll put an end to all these checkpoints. Station seems secure. Taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention?
Captain hears of their stripes. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. Surprise? Neva talks tough, and frankly, she is tough. But she's not a machine. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comp spike. Yeah, although I get why you didn't give me the details. If I had known this was about the legacy, I might have asked for a bigger cut. You read my mind. I don't like the thought of putting my routes in jeopardy over an old story. But I respect Delgado and I believe he's on to something. What that is, though, remains to be seen. Whether Crix's legacy is real or not, we have a job to do, and we will see it through. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink, and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Forgive me if I keep a knife. Pirates and alcohol. What could go wrong in a place like this? Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comp spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Don't worry your pretty little head about your damn ship. We had it brought back here safe and sound. Now pay attention. Dale went out of his way to tell you how impressed he was. You just gonna leave him hanging like that? Yeah, yeah, nice try, Rook. We know you didn't have a choice. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comp spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. It's the giant shroud that covers the entire city. Big, ugly thing that Jennerdyne uses to absorb lightning strikes. When you arrive in Neon, I'm sure your contact will fill you in with all the boring details. you damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, Neva. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. 
Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward we all split the cash. Don't worry. When Grixis' legacy is aboard the key, we'll be splitting plenty of cash. Until then, I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Follow her instructions to a letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. We have dealt with more than a few of your captains. This one should be no problem. You did right by one. But she's almost as green as you two. Estelle is different. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. As you've probably guessed, not very well. Keeping Mast out of the loop regarding this particular mission has proven exceptionally difficult. But we've managed to keep your involvement in the dark. Sparing the lives of the soldiers on SY-920 has definitely made our position with the top brass much easier. And on behalf of the United Colonies and Commander Natara, I thank you. Injuring or killing UC personnel would only cause more problems for us in the long run. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. With the acquisition of the Comspike, the fleet is one step closer to Grix's legacy. And the more people we arrest, the greater the chance that your infiltration is discovered. We're working against the clock here, so let's start by discussing the status of the Comspike. That all depends on what you brought back from your mission. Aside from your eyewitness testimony, I assume you have the usual evidence that could lead to her incarceration? I can take it off your hands once we complete your debriefing. But at the moment, I'm far more concerned about the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. Your ship will need special protection to ensure the electromagnetic disturbances in the planet's atmosphere don't fry your circuits. The conduction grid? That's... brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Thanks to your assistance, we'll be able to rectify that mistake, and Mast will authorize an all-out assault. 
course I am. But it's a calculated risk. It's long overdue. All right. I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. Thank <laughs> you.